Hey everybody, Ann here. I'm outside underneath my little shade thingy in front of the rocket stove. I'm gonna get it fired up and I think I'm gonna can something today. about today is although it is very hot there is a cool breeze there's a slight breeze and that makes all the difference so I'm able to sit out here and cook this uh, salsa down and uh, I'm gonna can it up yeah I haven't decided if I'm gonna pressure can it or water bath can it it's not an exact recipe for water bath canning so I'm not gonna share the exact recipe um, because I don't want you to try it and then try and water bath can it and have it go bad because you have to have the right balance of everything. So I'm not sure, but uh, it's got a while to cook down before I put it in the jars anyhow. So um, i got to bring one of the propane tanks inside and uh, use it for a little bit to do the canning process. And Well, i got to get it in there sooner because I need to heat the jars up. But uh, this stuff, it is going to be amazing. I just know it. While I'm waiting for everything to cook down, I figure now's a good time to put up a few signs. Yeah, don't open the gate, dude. Yeah, here's another one. <laughs> no soliciting. Do not enter drive unless you're the law. I love, I love the men in blue. These are really cheap. This is not going to last, but hopefully anybody who comes up here they will read this and then they won't feel <laughs> free to just walk up my drive. You know, I had this up yesterday and uh, the dude just walked all the way up. So it's not going to happen again. And I'll fix this little sign. It's cooked down a little bit, but it's got quite a ways yet to go. I just absolutely love, love, love this rocket stove. It works so good. I don't think I can can on it. It's just not stable enough, but I've already tasted this, 
and it tastes absolutely delicious. You can tell I didn't take out the seeds or the pith or anything out of the peppers because I like my salsa really spicy and it is going to be spicy and it's delicious. It's got some lime juice in it. It's got some cumin, some garlic, bell peppers, onions. Yeah, I didn't cut the tomatoes, all the tomatoes. Very good, that's okay. Uh, what else? A little bit of salt, not a whole lot, but this is gonna be great. Absolutely delicious. I decided to water bath can it. Yep, I'm gonna just water bath can it, and uh, even though it is not a recommended recipe, I have canned this kind of salsa a lot of times via water bath and I have opened a jar like a year later and it's still been good so I'm gonna water bath can it and um, the good thing is is I'm gonna can pints I could take a pint of it and just dump it in a pot and use that as my base to cook a pot of beans in the winter and it is just gonna give it I, I won't need anything else I can just throw that in and the beans if, if I want to add meat I can add meat but the, the flavor is just well, there's the cumin, there's the garlic, there's, um, I don't know, almost kind of like a little smoky flavor to it because the smoke is coming up, you know, over the top, so I can't wait till this is all done. I can't wait to try it. I can't wait to find out whether or not it will, you know, stay, stay good in the jars after I water bath can it, so we'll see. I gotta tell you something, it sure beats being inside that tiny house, worrying about the heat, running the air conditioner on the propane. I do have a fan, it's just like uh, pointing right up at me. But uh, staying busy and taking my mind off things uh, really helps in dealing with this weather, <laughs> the heat, I know. I've been complaining, but uh, just doing stuff and, and being outdoors and keeping my mind occupied and taking it off of you know my discomfort it it really makes a difference so yeah I'm out here and I'm feeling pretty pretty awesome this rocket stove is amazing and I'm cooking me up some salsa I wish you guys could try some it's it's gonna be really really good I think this is gonna be my best best pot of salsa I've ever made I got my jars on they're heating up and sterilizing yeah, I'm going to water bath these. And this is just about the consistency I want. So, whenever those jars are ready, I'm going to load them up and can them. I've got six pints that I'm preparing. I don't know if it'll take that much. I don't know, maybe more like four. But we'll see. Oh, this stuff is so good. I only got five pints out of this recipe, so they're in there. I just need to bring this water bath counter up to a boil, and then I'm going to go for, I don't know, I'm thinking 20 minutes. I have gone a whole day without running the generator, burning propane, well, except for my canning endeavor. I had to, you know, burn a little propane for that. But, uh, yeah, all the jars are like pinging and I think that I, 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 I was successful in this canning endeavor. So anyhow, um, you know what? That's all I got for you guys today. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.